Hello and welcome to Sobrix. I'm Adam and this is Sobrix. This is my channel for reviewing Lego sets and building them and talking about Lego and other Lego related stuff. In this video, I'm going to be taking another look at a Speed Champions set. So this is the Lego Speed Champions Fast and Furious 1970 Dodge Charger RT or R slash T. This is set number 76912. It has 345 pieces and I paid $20 for this set. So this set was the first Speed Champion set that I ever bought and that I ever built. So this holds a special place in my heart because it introduced me to the Speed Champions line, and as they say, the rest is history. The reason I picked this up, I actually picked this up at the same time as the James Bond Aston Martin Speed Champion uh, set, and the reason I got them is because I like movie stuff. I'm not really a car person, as you can tell as I review these, as I go through my Speed Champions. I don't know very much about cars at all. I don't know what certain parts are called, but now I'm more into them had I not ever gotten into Speed Champions and some of the bigger icon or creator expert uh, scale cars as well. So I got this and the James Bond one because they looked like good value and they were IP related and I, I just I thought they were really nice. I mean, $20 for 345 pieces, that's from an IP or intellectual property uh, I thought was was really good value. So we can take a close look at everything. The first uh, thing I'll show you is the minifigure that comes in this set. Now, sometimes minifigures in the Speed Champions lines are quite detailed. This one, because it's Fast and the Furious, this is the character Dominic Toretto. It is played by Vin Diesel. Vin Diesel and the character are a bald man, so there's no hairpiece, no printing on the back of the head. The expression here is okay. We got a little bit of a raised eyebrow, maybe cocky uh, Dominic Toretto, um, you know, being way too sure of himself and his team. Uh, the printing on the torso is okay. It's just Dominic Toretto's uh, black muscle shirt or sleeveless shirt. The arms are supposed to be bare arms, not the shirt. And I actually think the skin tone for the hands, the arms, and the head are really good on this um, I minifigure. I think they match really, really well. That's not always the case. It should be. It's not always the case. The legs are just basic gray legs, no printing on the legs, no printing on the midsection, and the back is uh, very simple. Uh, back printing there. So the, the minifigure could be better. Some of the other minifigures from other, um, like per specifically like race car sets from LEGO Speed Champions have a ton of detail on them. So this one's pretty basic compared to those, but I suppose it's true to the character, true to the intellectual property, and fits well with this car. And it comes with the big wrench, which I thought was a reference to the Fast and Furious movies that Dom sometimes uses a big wrench to fight. I think in one fight he fights Jason Statham's character that with a giant wrench, but I soon found out after building this set that this wrench piece is kind of included in I think every Speed Champion set that I've built. The manual, very standard. I got the uh, I don't know if this was ever produced before they, they switched the manual, so it's the white with the kind of brick here in the back. Um, you can see sort of the, the printing there a little bit. Totally normal, nothing too crazy. Uh, this is an 8 plus set, so not an insane amount of uh, steps. I think about 100, 99, that's okay. And now we can look at the main draw of this, the main model. I'll kind of go over it all here. Uh, first, we'll start with the inside. Um, the minifigure can fit inside there. If we look inside, like many um, Speed Champion sets, we just have the steering wheel, a basic windscreen here. I really like these bar elements in the back that are uh, give the impression of kind of a roll cage inside there. That's a very nice detail, uh, nice use of parts there. And we get the, like a tank of something right here, which I assume is like some nitrous or some other accelerant that is a part of the, uh, Fast and Furious franchise that makes this vehicle go fast, maybe too fast. Uh, and maybe too furious. So that's really good in there. We get the little shifter in the center console. 
from the top of the car we can also see this is a an element of a car i don't know it reminds me of like the exposed engine of a hot rod for example and i think it is an exposed engine part i just don't know if it's what what part it's supposed to be i actually really liked that detail i liked how it came together it fits really well in this hood and it, it comes together really easily so this is some technic pins and some technic pieces that's uh, attached to a uh, just a one by two brick kind of with a Technic hole in it, this 90 degree Technic pin, and then this clips on there and then, or, or slides on there and this folds down, which I think works really, really well. Beneath that, we can see how this part is built and that is built using a bunch of like uh, studs, hollow stud elements there, which looks really well, good amount of detail there. I really like that. Uh, if we go towards the side here, we get the nice impression of a uh, door handle there, and it uses a really cool part, or a, a part that I thought was pretty cool to use for that, which I will show later uh, when I look at the extra pieces. So we get the nice impression of a door handle, some translucent color in the back here and in the front there, really nice printed elements for the uh, like hubcap or the rim in there and normal speed champions wheels besides that the angle here is pretty good a lot of this is basic studs on top type stuff but i thought achieved pretty well uh, if we turn it to the back, I really liked the building techniques for the back here, so I will go a little bit more in depth for that. But at a first glance, we get the license plate. That is a sticker. These uh, elements right here are printed and then inside where there's this trans red those are also printed with the black bars on top and the bottom the other side is the same and going around to the front we get the nice grill that charger grill piece there that is a sticker on just like a one by three or one by four tile and then we get some you know translucent orange translucent clear kind of just uh round plates there to give the impression of lights so that's most of this car the build like i say is a lot of um studs on on top uh sometimes speed champions like especially around here if they're achieving different angles will have a lot of like building on the side or studs on the side type building but one of the building techniques that i really really liked was how this back comes together this back is one big piece here uh, for like essentially the trunk. So if I pop that off, we can see that. And inside here, we can see what it, what it looks like. So we can slide this out. This has those printed translucent red tiles, and you can see how this is constructed, which is a, is a nice building technique. It slides in there really, really, really nicely. And then, if we look here inside there we can see there are some uh, ball joint elements and those ball joints we can see from there and we can also see from the bottom there are two ball joints in there so it doesn't really move at all but what that means is that this whole section at the back can pop off and you build this section uh, like this and so it's kind of like upside down building to an extent well it, it is you know right side up here but it ends up attaching upside down which is a technique I never really used before I did this and and I've been amazed with all the different techniques and part usage that that speed champion sets have since used so I thought this was really really cool it attaches really really nicely uh, we can see where some other parts attach there so those two uh, ball joints just pop right in there nice and snug this slides in perfectly couple studs in there two studs in there for that and then four studs on top plus these ones here uh, where this piece just fits together there and it just fits together perfectly the angles are great and it's really cool to see kind of uh a unique building a unique to me at the time building technique back here the rest of it's all pretty pretty standard not too many crazy angles on this vehicle it's a relatively boxy car but that's true to the car true to what it's supposed to be and so it looks really really nice 
And uh, if I had any complaints about this vehicle, I think um, there are some stickers that I wish were printed on the side here, on these window clear pieces on the side. There are some stickers that I wish were prints. Uh, other than that, the stickers didn't bother me too, too much. I do wish there was a way to connect with a, a stud or two this uh, roof part of the car. A lot of the other Speed Champion sets that I've built will have like a different kind of windscreen than this. Um, so they will usually connect with a stud or two. I would have liked that for play, uh, and safety, and just because this feels um, a little just weak and flimsy. These are only on there with one stud, and so it just rests there really delicately, can fall off very easily. So I would have liked this to have studded in maybe one place or two if they could make it. Um, but that's really my only complaints. I think there's good deal on detail on the internal. The minifigure is just so-so. I'm glad we got these printed elements for the wheels. And all in all, it's a good, it's a solid set. If we take a look at the extra pieces, there are a couple really nice ones. And uh, I will get a close-up of those. Um, so we do get an extra of that hubcap uh, rim printed element, which is really great. And we get an extra of this one-by-one -one tile, this translucent red with the black bars printed on it there and then the rest of them are some studs some one by one uh, elements some tiles and just some other the all the light elements you might typically find as extra pieces in a set so this set this fast and furious dodge charger 345 pieces for 20 dollars i think is a fantastic value uh not only is it great price per piece, there's also the intellectual property tax, which may or may not be a thing, uh, but it is. I can't deny that it is indeed part of some IP that already exists. It is a movie tie-in set while it's part of the Speed Champions line, so I have to take that into account. So I think this is good value. It was the set that got me into Speed Champions, the first one I bought, the first one I built. And so it holds a special place in my heart for showing me all the amazing things that the Speed Champions line has to offer. And I can't wait to talk about more of the Speed Champions cars that I've built and uh, to continue, you know, making these videos and reviewing them because I've been pretty blown away by... For example, the McLaren's, McLaren set that I already reviewed and did a build video for, um, this one's not as amazing as some of the other ones, but because this was my introduction, it is very uh, valuable to me personally. And besides that, I think it's a good value buy uh, either way. So I really like this set. If you like this video, consider giving it a like um or a thumbs up on YouTube. Uh, if you like the content on my channel, consider subscribing to it, especially so you can stay up to date on all the other Speed Champions reviews and builds that I will be doing in the near future. I have a ton more Speed Champions cars that I'm very excited about, uh, and, and so... I'm looking forward to making those videos, and if you want to make sure you uh, see those, consider subscribing to my channel. Uh, until then, thanks. Bye.